In this tutorial, I will show you how to use the Post Carousels widget by Unlimited Elements. Inside of Elementor, we're going to search for Post Carousel, and we can drag that inside. And I'm going to take you over and over all of the settings that we have in this widget. So, this widget is bringing in all of our posts now. To filter our posts, we can scroll down in the settings and in post query, we can filter the posts any way we like. So, for example, you can do a current a query post or custom posts. You can choose to show pages even and not only posts and filter it out with all of the settings over here under posts query. Inside of the general, we have all sorts of settings and let's go over them. So the first setting is layout. The layout means uh, how the post will look inside of the carousel. So for example, I'm going to change this from under to overlay. And what it does, it makes the content as an overlay effect over each box inside of the carousel. Let's change this to under overlap to see how that looks. Perfect, looking good. And let's check out the last one which is partial overlay partial overlay and um, actually what it does it uh, overlays the image so right now we have a lot of content uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the image height two times higher and now that looks good so it's sort it's called partial overlay next setting is alignment so we can align uh, the text any way we like I'm going to align it to the center right now. Next, the next settings are the number of items on desktop, on tablet, and on mobile. So, for example, I'm going to change the number of items to two, and my carousel will change from three columns to two columns. Perfect, this is looking good. Next setting is autoplay. You can turn it on or off, whatever you like. And the next setting is the margin between the columns or the items. So right now this is the margin, this empty white space, and I can make this space bigger if I like. So I'm going to change that to 50 to make the space bigger. So that's what it does. Next uh, setting is the read more text. We can change this to whatever we want. For example, if I'm, I just want it to say learn more, I can change that. Perfect image height as we used before when changing the layout so this is the image height the height of the whole box take in mind it doesn't matter uh, how high or wide your images that you upload are and what this does is just uh, it takes uh, the full width of the column and whatever height you will determine over here content padding is the padding inside of the box over here and uh, take in mind that this box is also the overlay box so when we're choosing overlay over here this is also content padding and content background color so if i'm going to change this let's say to a pink color this is the content if it, and if i will change the layout to under this pink box will show under the uh, images themselves Perfect. Item border, item border width, simple stuff. If you want each column to have a border or a border width, background color, we can change that to any color we want. This is the button. Of course, we have button background and button uh, border width. You can add a border to the buttons. We can also add a border radius to the buttons if we want the buttons. Uh, to look more rounded this is how they look and the last settings are just to turn on and off anything inside of the post carousel so for example we have arrows over here if we don't want the arrows to show we can turn them off if we don't want the dots to show we can turn them off and of course we can turn off the title the intro the date and and the button so let's just uh, turn two of these off let's say we're going to turn off the date and the button of course we have typography settings under the style tab 
So if I'm going to jump into the Style tab and I want to change how my titles are looking, I'm just going to enable Styles and I'm going to change this to Pacifico, for example, which is one of my favorite fonts. Great, and we can make this uh, title a bit bigger, for example, and that's looking cool. I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments. If you have any suggestions, please don't hesitate to contact me and see you next time.